So I've had a quick check off camera and it seems that this circuit board is not powerful enough to power the four LEDs at the same time. Um, I could do two LEDs, which is what it's on at the moment. Uh, let's plug that in. So there's the two blue ones at the top. So before I had the two red ones, when they're both connected up, so I'm sure some of you watching would say, oh yes, we've got to change something on the circuit board to power both, but that's not what this channel is about. So what I'm going to do is I've got another um, circuit here, um, and I'm going to power two blue LEDs from one circuit, and the two red LEDs from the other circuit. So what I need to do is to remove some of this cable that I've already popped in. Right, so I just need to sew that back onto that leg down there. Right, so I'll uh, drop a bit more solder on that in a minute. So we've got two flashing blue LEDs. Um, so I need to put some cables onto here for the front red ones. So let's just disconnect the battery from that. And right, I've now got some proper leads, um, which I'm going to use on here uh, and solder them onto the front LEDs on the, the red LEDs, so let's get them done. There's a fantastic blob of solder on there, isn't there? Right, let's cut them two on. Right, so hopefully, if I've got that done right, Right, let's see if we can power that up and we should have Okay, so that's given us red LEDs in the front as well. So that's good. Okay. Right, so what I need to do then, I need to power 
this board as well as that board so um, what I'll think I'll do is I'll sort a couple of cables from here onto the other side so let's see there's a couple of these we'll use a white for the positive black for the ground Okay, now we'll just sort them onto here. Now I'm sure while I'm doing this people are screaming at their screen saying this is completely the wrong way of doing it but this is just a little bit of fun for me so if it's not the right way of doing it I'm sorry but let's see how it goes and I just bent my finger okay right let's see if we can power this up Okay, so there we go. We've got the two red on the front and the two blue on the top. I quite like that. Right, so the next thing we need to do then is <coughs> need to put the switch in at some point. So I think the best way of doing that is just to cut one of these wires and solder it either side of the switch. So what I'll do then is just move that lot out of the way. Need to put a dab of solder on that switch. There we go, you can see that. I'm just going to put a dab of flux. Either side of that. I'll try not to burn my finger off this time. So let's see if we can get this done now.
Okay, it's got one done. There we go, it's got two done. So again, let's just give that a quick test. Make sure that works all right. Excuse me, battery's gone. Brilliant toss. Right, now we know we've got that working all right. Um, what I think I'll do is just bend some of these legs apart a bit. Just We don't want these... Uh, legs touching once the toy is actually working so just bend them out a bit like that um hopefully when i glue this down it shouldn't be too bad but i have remembered one thing that i need to do and that is there's one of these little blue plastic things that needs to go right down there so what I need to do is to get my heat, uh, my glue gun set up and so we can glue that in place. Right, <coughs> heat gun's up to prime, up to heat now. So let's see if we can drop this glue into here and make a complete mess of things. I'm not going to touch that because it's going to be extremely hot. I'm just going to push it down to make sure it's actually in, which it is. So that's got that glued in place. So let's just leave that for it to cool down. Well, while I got the um, hot gun out, uh, the hot glue gun out, I've uh, fixed the back axle here by hot gluing the two little um, plastic bits that's all i can say there but hot glue them into place as well so that's now i've got that fixed um so the next thing i need to think about is um i've i know i've got to glue the circuit boards in place um but i was thinking about putting the battery pack on here somehow um, so the wires can go on it now the back this is the back and this is the front so the wires could be around the back so that it could be about there uh, which would be like that um, so I reckon a little bit of glue on there might do it um, I've had the glue gun off for a bit, so it may have Hopefully that should stick on there all right. And then that will go onto there and hopefully that should be okay. Now, the other thing I've got here and so 
that is a ambulance and here I've got some checkered as well which I'm going to stick on the side to finish it off So these are transfer, so they'll go on either side and then uh, I'll cut the checkered board out and um, see how that goes. So, right, so that's got that, that's actually stuck now. So let's see if this all goes together. Probably not, but let's give it a try. There we go. So that's got uh, flashing red and flashing blue. Switch on the top. Great stuff. So what I need to do now is just put some stickers on it, put the ambulance on it. So I'll come back to you in a minute. Okay, so it's not the best in the world, but it's a bit of fun. Couple of circuits, dead cheap off eBay. Um, I'll put a link at the end. Um, switch on the top. Batteries inside. Um, and it's the batteries on the battery clip, so we can easily take them out and change them. And I'm sure my two-year-old grandson would destroy this within a few minutes when he gets his hands on it. But I've enjoyed making it. Two red lights, red LEDs at the front, two blue at the top, switch on the top. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. 
well it's just a bit of fun um hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me make a complete mess of this um and join me again for another video when i probably make something a little bit better than this bye for now